ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರುಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ಅಶ್ಯಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ವ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ಬೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಜತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ್ವ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸಂ ತೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದ ಜಗೋದೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ಪಿರಂಜನ ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯಂ ಭೀತಾಹಂ ಪುನುತಪಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರಣ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮುನೀಚ್ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರ್ಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರುಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಂಕರೋಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೀತನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೇತನ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ವೀಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜರು ಜುಗಧಾರ ಮುಪಾಲು ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾವತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇಣ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀತವಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಭೀತ್ ಪಂಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे चीरो गौर जनाश्रय विश्व गुरु गुरु गौर किशोर को दाशु परम परमादृत भक्ति विनोद पदम पुनमा सदा प्रभु पाद पदम पुनमा सदा प्रभु पाद पदम पुनमा सदा पदु प्रभु पाद पदम चीर गौर जनाश्रय विश्व गुरु गुरु गौर किशोर को दाशु परम परमादृत भक्ति विनोद पदम पुनमा सदा प्रभु पाद पदम पुनमा सदा प्रभु पाद पदम पुनमा सदा प्रभु पाद पदम गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर कहबा टोल दैट वी रिसीव एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम शिल सच्चिदानंद भक्ति में ठाकुर शिल सच्चिदानंद भक्ति में ठाकुर is the pioneer of whole gauriya saraswat gauriya society or as a whole we can say gauriya society gauriya goshti bhakti sri sila bhakti siddhant saraswati goshami thakur baba told we have received everything we have everything from sila sachidanand bhakti mr thakur only the thing we will have to do we'll have to follow a sadguru and we'll have to do bhajan and we will have to go through all his writings by the mercy of sila sachi vinod hachidanand bhakti vinod thakur we can understand everything if we are not going to understand that what is kipa what is kipa actually if we cannot understand then we can start but we can start fighting with each other argument actually you can remember when sila ishwar puri ishwar puri pad enjoying full kipa of sila madhavendra puri pad then by the mercy of madhavendra puri pad everything you know manifests into the heart of ishwar puri pad this is called actual perceptual guru channel through through perceptual guru channel we can get all power not that Uh, all guru vargo gone power can come down not that my saranagati can come down that's why power can come down otherwise no question no question actually so by the mercy of sri sila sachidanand bhakti mr thakur actually guru vishnu of self evolution by the mercy of sila sachidanand sachidanand bhakti mr thakur we can understand what he wanted to speak we can understand actually because bani sharup bani sharup of sila sachidanand bhakti vinod thakur is more important bani sharup is so important so important that without without understanding the bani sharup of any guru vaishnav we cannot sing the glories of guru at that guru vaishnav not possible when we can see the bani sarup actual bani sarup of guru vaishnav then and only then it is possible for us to sing the glories of guru vaishnav dry philosophy i can speak but that is not document that is not evident because that is not my realization now actually sila sachidanand bhakti mithak is the pioneer man of gauri saraswat gauri society or as a whole 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 you know sir whole you know vaishnav society gauriya vaishnav society but actually i by the desire of bhakti vinod thakur by the desire of previous guru varga jagannath das baba ji maharaj by the desire of you know gaur kishor baba by the desire of you know gaur parshad or gauranga mahapo itself we can get sila sachi we can get sila bhakti siddhant saraswati goswami thakur as jagat guru it is we are lucky really so we are we are going to get him as jagat guru who started goriyama not started actually bring goriyama from the transcendental world invite goriyama to come here 
to bestow keep on on common people now point is that somebody can put question who met who met sila bhakti siddhanta saraswati goswami tagur popat gurudev so that you are speaking his jagat guru who make it usually in this in this material world we can find somebody is made guru by election somebody going to choose somebody but most of the time we find it become failure procedure it's not the procedure is not scientific the procedure is not scientific that's why propat many time told that guru shat guru can never be elected guru guru can never be elected by by election shat guru is self effulgence self manifested so propat never wanted to show this system so actually somebody can fight who make propat jagat guru who made propat then we can say si chaitanya mahapu himself make him jagat guru i already told him i already told you all that well while sila popa doing satakati nam 100 crores nam jagya in between goranga mahapu all parshad who appear and give instruction to act as acharya if you still not going to believe it then i can say i can remind you i already told this hari katha one day sila gaur kishor bhai maharaj start and give started giving a dust particle from his lotus feet on the head of sila pahupad so what do you mean by this i want to mean that acharya obisek was done by the dust particle of from the lotus feet of gaur kishor baba whereas krishna himself speaking i like to i am i like to get obisek by the dust particle of vaishnavas so this procedure of obisek is 100% perfect we should not disbelieve it we should have a strong faith in it so the day so the day when sila gaur kishor baba ji maharaj going to give all dust particle from his own lotus feet on the head of sila bhakti siddhanta saraswati goswami tagur bhau and speaking my prabhu my prabhu my prabhu and that time we should remember that was the excellent abhishek done by sila gaur kishor baba ji maharaj in the seat of to 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 allow him to sit in you know But as as acharya asan also vasasan acharya asan is exclusive so prabhupad is deputed by goranga mahapu eternal parshad at all some material people going to fight with me i can go on giving this kind of example through which i can prove that prabhupad was prabhupad the abhishek of prabhupad was done much before much before so also i can prove that sila sachidananda bhakti mun thakur wanted to make him exclusive acharya wanted to prove that this bimala prasad saraswati bhakti siddhanta saraswati is an exclusive jagat acharya wanted to speak but how actually gokishor baba ji wanted to make abhishek acharya abhishek through dust particle and sila sachidananda bhakti mun thakur wanted to do abhishek through one special procedure what is that procedure <laughs> that the procedure is that sila bhakti mun thakur wanted to give him some special responsibility i can discuss gradually but i like to discuss some special preaching done by prabhupad in some special places so what kind of instruction uh, prabhupad received from have received from sila bhakti mun thakur that i want to say bhakti mun thakur through this instruction wanted to prove there is exclusive acharya jagat guru if is not at all jagat guru is not exclusive acharya if at all not deputed by gauranga mahapu himself then how bhakti mun thakur wanted to give this kind of instruction special instruction to sila popa which is impossible impossible sila bhakti mun thakur first giving instruction 
that you will have to reset you will have to reset establish the actual scientific procedure of varnasram dharma you will have to reset the you know bishva vishnu brahma procedure dham pacharani sabha you will have to and you will have to start under the guidance of nitananda dham parikrama which is the best possible way to arrange kripa for bonded soul those are the unique instruction which is impossible for ordinary ordinary man to carry out without jagat guru without a candidate already chosen by mahaprabhu to carry out the order of bhakti vinod thakur is quite impossible so it is a scientific procedure scientific procedure through which we can realize really so pavat is jagat guru paramhansa jagat guru and actually whereas uh, sila uh, parikhit maharaj getting instruction uh, by uh, no actually uddhav ji maharaj in front of uddhav ji maharaj bhagwan sri krishna speaking uddhav be careful acharya mam bijanyat nav mannet kar hi chit na marto buddha suyeto sarva deva mayo guru i explained already many time this slok today i have no time but what krishna bhagwan saying in front of you know uddhav ji maharaj acharya mam bijanya be careful i myself is acharya i am coming in the form of acharya in this material world to deliver all common souls so this is the procedure through which we can understand the who the what is jagat guru ordinary guru what is the difference between ordinary baddha guru where is jagat guru this way we can find procedure now so many question can come those who are actually busy with logical interpretation they can put thousands of question in front of me but by the mercy of gurudev and prabhupada i can give answer to them also if the question is not dirty question <coughs> if at all this question is not dirty question relating some sampradaya issue this that to prove somebody is bad somebody good i am not interested to give answer only i am interested to give uh, give answer to those question which related to your bhajan that i like to do to establish siddhanta i can speak somebody may go against me so what it concern to be the my protector is there balaji maharaj topmost you know so i have uh, you know no tension to speak about their absolute truth somebody can speak somebody can speak maharaj who is the guru deva parikshit maharaj i already told popa speaking what do you mean by diksha diksha mean to develop sambandha vidya prajan gyan and to start bhakti that was done that the procedure was done by whom shukdev goswami and parikshit maharaj was the candidate ha ah, so topmost candidate not only that how how i can pass this kind of remark that parikshit maharaj was 100 100% initiated by shukdev goswami how how i can say how i can say scientific 100% yes i can give 100% document that first through bhagavad katha through bhagavad katha parikshit shukde in front of parikshit maharaj shukdev goswami giving all bhagavad katha I mean through bhagavad katha sambandha vidya prayojan gan develop inside uh, at, at all uh, it is written in the horoscope of parikshit maharaj that uh, that uh, actually uh, esho mahabhagavata about about parikshit maharaj it is written in his horoscope already and in bhagavatam three four times i we can see this word used by rishi manish esho mahabhagavata so what so what oh, so what then i am going to give answer again that when parikshit maharaj putting question in front of sukhdev goswami that is called tatva jigyasa that is the first point of diksha to prove that parikshit maharaj was 100% initiated by sukhdev i am giving all different documents first point before taking initiation usually the procedure followed 
they are following uh, followed by so many institution organization i am less interested about that what i mean to say scientific documents actually so first of all tatva jigyasa athoto tatva jigyasa athoto brahma jigyasa ke ami kene mori jare to patroy eha nahi jani koi che mori hi thoy those are all tatva jigyasa tatva jigyasa if there is not at all tatva jigyasa if you are going to invite somebody 100 people come 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 i can give initiation to to prove that i am jagat guru a maharaj you can make thousands of these lakhs of disciple but we are not going to accept you as jagat guru until and unless we find some doc- documents from shastra we are not blind follower we are not blind follower we are not blind follower we have all documents given by popat bhaktinu thakur so nobody can make fool of us so if lakhs of people going to take initiation that that is not a document that is jagat guru some documents that they are foolish people all over the world they are being cheated they can they cannot understand what is good what is good, putting so many question useless question in front of me so now point is that first point that porikhit maharaj going to put question in front of tatva jigyasa in front of sukadev goswami i already discussed two days ago atho prichami sansiddhim jaginam param guru पुरुषस्य हयत कार्यन नियमानुस सर्वथा इट इज कॉल्ड एक्चुअली तत्व जिज्ञासा एंड सो आफ्टर दिस तत्व जिज्ञासा व्हाट इज द डॉक्यूमेंट दैट परि दैट सुखदेव गोस्वामी गोइंग टू एक्सेप्ट हिम एज गुरु मे बी परिखित महाराज रेडी टू एक्सेप्ट हिम एज गुरु एंड इफ गुरुदेव परमंश सुखदेव गोस्वामी नॉट गोइंग टू एक्सेप्ट हिम एज गुरु आई कैन ऑल्सो स्पीक द टॉपिक्स ऑफ एकलव्य to prove this point eh to prove scientific points through books if you go through books thousands of year still you cannot understand because this is the siddhanta prabhupada and guru varga if you are enjoying the keep up guru varga then you can realize other so many doubts and you know anxiety can come inside your life so now i am going to give document through which you can realize that not only that that parikhit maharaj going to accept him as guru atho pricha me sansiddhim joge is guru accepting pray posted it on the wall and accepting as guru ha eh, not only that but also sukhdev goswami going to accept him as guru acts as, as disciple because parikhit maharaj is a topmost disciple parikhit this parikhit this word means already tested tested and found okay quality control department when quality control department going to to give stamp on the item and giving in market then it is tested it was tested and found okay so by sukhdev goswami pad eh, he was tested uh, so his name was parikshit and how i know that gurudev sadguru paramangsa acharya who is less interested to go anywhere to beg has topmost power even no cloth is there in his body on his body this kind of topmost power from so how is possible he can accept this king parikshit maharaja i can give document sugadev goshai speaking baryane shate prashno krito loko hito nipah atma bid sanmato pungsam sratavyadi sujo parah what do you mean by this slok sukhdev goshain speaking baryane sote prashno ho rajan your question is excellent excellent that mean sukhdev goshain going to accept him as shat shishya baryane sote prashno krito loko hito nipah atma bid sanmato pungsam श्रोतव्यादि सुजापर एक्सिलेंट यूनिक थ्रू दिस एनो थ्रू दिस एनो एनो एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ हार्ट वी कैन नो श्योरली गुरुदेव परवंश गुरुदेव गोइंग टू एक्सेप्ट हिम एज सत शिष्य सो डोंट ट्राई टू गो इन टू एनी काइंड ऑफ आर्गुमेंट सो इज हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर दैट सिल 
गौर किशोर बाबा जी महाराज शिल भक्ति मनोज ठाकुर ऑल आर गुरु बारगा नॉट ओनली दैट बट ऑल्सो ऑल द पार्षद ऑफ गौरंग महाप्रभु टोटल पार्षद एंड चैतन्य महाप्रभु हिमसेल्फ डिप्यूट हिम एज अ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ द सुप्रीम गॉड हेड सो वी आर वेरी लाखी टू गेट शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी एज जगत गुरु वी आर वेरी वेरी लाखी वी आर सो लाखी वी आर सो लाखी वी कैन नॉट इमेजिन बट स्टील वी से वी आर सो बैड लाख सो बैड लाख सो बैड लाख सो बैड लाख द स्टील टूडे वी कैन नॉट गेट रियलाइजेशन वाट काइंड ऑफ अचीवमेंट वी हैव इन आवर लाइफ दैट वी गेट प्रभुपात एज जगत गुरु बट स्टील वी आर गोन टू लूज एवरी थिंग थ्रू इन फाइटिंग थ्रू पर्सनल प्रतिष्ठा वी आर कमिंग डाउन टू सच ए लो लेवल वी आर गोइंग टू सेल आवर ओन संप्रदाय फॉर सिंपल प्रतिष्ठा वी आर सो डर्टी सो डर्टी सो डर्टी दैट वी कैन सेल आवर संप्रदाय सेल आवर बाणी वही भाव वी कैन सेल बुक्स एंड एवरी थिंग सीक्रेटली टू आदर पीपल सो वी आर सो ग्रेट डेमोन वी आर गोइंग टू लूज वी आर सो अनलाकी दे आर वी वी आर गोइंग टू यू नो सेल ऑल सीक्रेट डॉक्यूमेंट्स टू यू नो सम सम यू नो ग्रुप टू सम ग्रुप those who are against the prophet against gauriya mat so okay we are so unlucky so unlucky so unlucky they in spite of this kind of facility given by supreme lord to get prophet as jagat guru we are we are going to lose all documents also i am bound to give this document i heard it from a direct source direct source not it is one story direct source One day, Sila Pahupat was there inside Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Bhajan Kutir. Parmananda Prabhu arranged prasadam noon time, twelve thirty, for him. Very nobody. It was the system that nobody can see prasadam taking of Pahupat. Nobody can see. Nobody can see that Pahupat taking rest. Nobody can see that Pahupat going to Socha Lai toilet. it was the it was the it was the system set by prabhupad so also i like to follow this procedure i feel shy in front of people i don't like to take prasadam so it's good and of course in in front of the board is those who are you know internal the board is that's not a big problem but prabhupad wanted to maintain this procedure because some people can develop material idea So Bhopat used to take prasadam secretly. Also, it is in shastra, and uh, in usually in santo samaj in the society of sa shadu we hear the three three functions of shadu should not come in front of public. Should not come in picture. What is that? When shadu take a genuine shadu, what do you? I am not speaking about all useless. Uh, you no. Know. So when shadu taking prasadam. he should take prasadam silently it is a procedure when sadhu taking rest for a little for a small time nobody should see when sadhu going to toilet nobody should see this is a system because somehow somebody can develop material idea then it is dangerous na marto buddha asuyet sarva deva mayu guru i already told If you somehow develop material idea about Guru Vishnu, that is very dangerous for you. You can fall down. So be careful. So one day, Prabhupad was served with prasadam plate. Prasadam plate was kept by Paramananda Prabhu. He gone outside and locked the door. And Prabhupad not taking prasadam, looking just outside in the garden through the window. Long time, Prabhu thinking something. After half an hour over, Paramananda Prabhu again entered the room and asking, he was wonder, why Prabhu you not taking prasadam? Long time I give prasadam. Prabhu look at Paramananda. Paramananda asking Prabhu, what you are thinking? You seem to be anxious. It seems that you are anxious. 
Popa looking to Paramananda speaking. When Paramananda asking, Popa, what what you are looking in the garden? Popa speaking, I was I was looking. How bad luck you are going to make in your life. All of you are going to burn up your luck. Tumra tumade shobhago ke kemon bhabe puriyecho. Ami dekhi in Bengali, Popa speaking. Ami dekhi. তোমাদের কপালটা পুড়েছে কতটা আমি দেখছি ইন বেঙ্গলি প্রপা স্পিকিং আমি দেখছি তোমাদের কপালটা কতটা পুড়েছে মানে হাউ ইউ আর ব্যাড লাক ইউ আর গোয়িং টু বার্ন আপ ইউর লাক্স অল ইউর রেসপেক্টিভ লাক দ্যাট আই ওয়াজ ওয়াচিং থ্রু দিস ওয়ার্ড ইউ ক্যান রিয়ালাইজ হোয়াট প্রভাত ওয়ান্টেড টু সে প্রভাত কুড রিয়ালাইজ দ্যাট সাম দে this situation can come when all leaders they can fight for their own pratishtha they can sell their own sampraday they they, they can sell their bani vaibha to others simply for pratishtha popat could see like jodu bangsa like jodu bangsa yudhi nobody can destroy jodu destiny nobody can destroy jodu destiny krishna bhagwan that's why krishna bhagwan arrange arrange the destruction of jodu bangsa in such a you know tricky way so you know nobody can understand through the cards of sadhu guru vishnu rishi muni through the cards simply through the cards it is one kind of you know <laughs> nothing else is all the desire of krishna is all so through cards krishna was bound to arrange the destruction of jodu destiny this way we are very sorry we are very lucky but still we are very sorry we are going to burn up our luck we are so lucky so lucky that we cannot compare our luck with the king of heaven we cannot even king but more, we are more lucky than the luck of you know we are more lucky than the king of heaven because king of heaven he is you know king material king okay but we have the privilege we have the facility to stay in navadip dham we have the facility to follow bhakti mino thakur we have the facility to follow prabhupad that is our you know topmost luck topmost luck because that indra maharaj indra maharaj used to call bhakti mino thakur in his heaven to discuss something to find solution from the life history of bhakti mino thakur we know this point some day bhakti mino thakur you know was you know doing hari naam and gone pass off pass on to the other world nobody can understand thakur can not response after that somebody calling 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 then bhakti mino you come back and speaking why you call me but why but indra call me there i was there to discuss some point vital point indra maharaj cannot take decision that's why he was calling backward so you see you see the you see you see how we are lucky and that bhakti mino thakur is actually nodia prakash why nodia prakash is one patrika well i know well i know but we give this title to sila bhakti mino thakur because by the order of tarakeshwar mahadev by the order of guru bharga bhakti mino thakur started doing you know bhajan to to discover dham bhakti mino thakur was able to discover jagapit everything 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 documentary even according to historical chart and all geographical chart as per the chart of you know if, you know darshan shastra or oh, is 100% proved that this is jagapit this is navadip dham this is mayapur dham we are so lucky so lucky that is why the name of bhakti mino thakur is we are very lucky to give this name because nodia prakash prakashmin prakashmin to to unveil the mystery Uh, to unveil the mystery bhakti mino thakur was the first person to unveil the mystery of dham in front of us all 
दो वी नो श्रीला जगन्नाथ दास बाबा जी महाराज वॉज एन ऑल्सो डांसिंग दे एन दैट एन द आविर्भा प्लेस आविर्भा प्लेस ऑफ गौरंग महाप्रभु जगन्नाथ दास बाबा जी महाराज द एज ऑफ हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव डांसिंग लाइक ए चाइल्ड सो लाइट सो लाइट ए जम्पिंग लाइक ए स्पोर्ट्स मैन मोर देन जम्पिंग एंड स्पीकिंग यू नो द ग्लोरीज ऑफ यू नो डूइंग चैंटिंग हरिनाम कीर्तन देन एवरीबॉडी कूड रियलाइज इंक्लूडिंग भक्ति मेम ठाकुर नाउ माई एफर्ट इज सक्सेसफुल बिकॉज गौर की बिकॉज जगन्नाथ दास बाबा जी महाराज गिविंग सर्टिफिकेट दैट दिस इज द बर्थ प्लेस ऑफ गौरंग महाप्रभु दिस वे सो मेनी डॉक्यूमेंट्स आर देर थ्रू विच वी कैन प्रूव दैट भक्ति मिनु ठाकुर इज द पायनियर पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गौरीय यू नो गौरीय मठ और सारस्वत गौरीय एज ए होल गौरीय सोसाइटी एज ए होल बिकॉज भक्ति मिनु ठाकुर is nadia prakash so this way bhakti mohan tagu through some instruction wanted to prove if he is not jagat guru how it is possible if he is not at all jagat guru how it is possible for bhakti mohan tagu to give this kind of instruction to somebody who is not jagat guru if he is not at all jagat guru then bhakti mohan tagu cannot give this kind of top task to enter to you know so all fighting is now over also uh, if you like to get some another example i like to give i can give you example that many people asking who is the guru of sanatan gosai who is the guru so fighting they are busy with fighting they are so dirty so dirty their mind is always I mean roaming around dirty lake of stool and urine so anyway i am bound to answer though we know that from the writings of sila sanatan goswami pad that uh, uh writings of bhakti uh, writings of sila sanatan goswami pad uh vidya vachaspati vidya vachaspati guru me this kind of writing we find from the right from this kind of you know comment we find from the writings of sila sanatan goswami pad but if i speak that some kirtan is there in which we can find in the kirtan by lochundas or uh, northamata gur i forget i i can speak you some day but i am doing this kirtan also हा प्रभु सनातन गौर पर सब मिली बांचा पूर्ण करो यमारो सिरूपे रखी पेन आमा पति हयो से पद सम्पद जारो से महाशय दिस्कृतन so this kirtan is very wonderful here it is written one clue very secret clue ha ha prabhu sanatan gauro parivar gauro parivar mean eh he is a member of gauranga mahaprabhu gauro parivar eh uh, yes why it is written so is any scientific document yes when sanatan goswami pad was in varanasi there at that time you can remember siman mahaprabhu started speaking about all secret tatta and that the whole secret tatta we can divide into three parts sambandha avidya prayojan tatta all in details now what do you mean by diksha follow what i mean to say so scientific document mahaprabhu wanted to wanted to speak all in details about sambandha avidya prayojan and not only that sanatan goswami putting uh, one uh, was bound to put this question in front of mahaprabhu that ke ami kene more jare tapo try eh nahi jani koi che mor hi thoy prabhu who am i where what is my identity i don't know please you know try to clarify this point ke ami kene more why this kind of material you know three modes of nature 
गिविंग मी फैन एक्चुअली सनातन गोस्वामी इटर्नल प्रसाद ऑफ महा गौरंग महाप्रभु देर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी दैट सनातन गोस्वामी गोइंग टू साफर इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड नॉट एट ऑल बट स्टील सनातन गोस्वामी एक्टिंग एज ए यू नो यू नो सत् शिष्य ए पुटिंग दिस क्वेश्चन आत्म जिज्ञासा इट इज कॉल सो ओनली आफ्टर आत्म जिज्ञासा only and only after atma jigasa it is the rules that a gurudev can give diksha to a disciple when shishya not going to put any question in front of gurudev a self real is actually self interrogation self interrogation not yet developed not developed as yet in that case your diksha is maybe failure so this is the system atoto atma jigyasa atoto brahma jigyasa oke ami kene mori jare tapat those are the question atho pricha ami sansiddhim those are all called atma jigyasa to realize my standpoint if there is enough fervent effort craving effort you know in that case you are, you can be treated as a actual candidate of diksha at present nobody going to follow they always want to prove we are more elevated acharya than previous than pro bad bhakti mino thakur that's why you are giving by already i already yesterday told if gurudev going to deliver somebody is going to fall down maybe his fall down is exposed or not exposed secretly materially he is attached in that case if this kind of dikha is useless not only that but also his dikha can put himself in hell and the disciple who is give, going to get is also in trouble forever so i can go back to the topics of ekalabhya i can touch then you can go mad what is secrecy there why is runa chaj acting this way so first of all if at all there is self interrogation or not without any self interrogation i can bring you from england america i can make you gopi is not the procedure this is not the procedure i can bring you from america australia russia and make you gopi immediately so we have factory to make gopi so it is not the procedure actually this is not the procedure as you know there in the shastra so we are less interested about this sahaja procedure so actually first point is that if at all any interrogation is there if no not at all any interrogation coming inside heart his heart is totally dirty full of matter material enjoyment if you forcefully give diksha to him then there is you know thousand sub time more trouble you are making in the world because he is already with corona positive he is going to distribute corona positive the so whole world can be affected by the corona not corona and sadguru prabhupad what being in the whole world if prabhupad going to make one disciple that one disciple is more than sufficient to shake the whole universe you don't know that's why it is written it is not story it man man come on it is not story it is written brahmando tarite shakti dhare jane jane ebedo purano guno gai jeva sune that's why Sila Gaur Kishor Baba Ji Maharaj is going to accept only one single guru, single sishya, who can shake the whole universe. That the name of that Da Pahupad, Di Pahupad. So I am going to discuss this point. So you see, it is a very secret point actually. So actually, Gaur Kishor Baba Ji Maharaj giving diksha. So this is not the procedure. if there is no self interrogation nothing if you give diksha you are making more and more problem in the society man come on you should follow sanatan goswami you should not insult sanatan goswami you are going to break rules and regulations set by all acharya and bishobishna prasa what is i already discussed many time what is the duty of bishobishna prasa is not a joking foolish people bishobishna prasa not a matter of joking who can get control over the whole bush of society all over the world what kind of power you should have what kind of bhakti you should have why parikhit maharaj was able to get control over whole world why pithu maharaj why pithu maharaj was successful to get control over whole world what is the secrecy 
If somebody asks, I can say, Maharaj, Amaris Maharaj, Shaptadip Adivati, how it was possible for him to get control over the whole world? Simply because they are big, you know, devoted personality. They have great bhakti. Bhakti is the sakti. That's why Parikhid Maharaj was successful. That's why Parikhid Maharaj was successful. That's why Ambarish Maharaj was successful. Whereas you are not successful to control your wife and you know children. There may be five members in your society. You are the you know husband or maybe father. You cannot get control over so you are small family members because you have no bhakti. So you see the power of bhakti, which can enable you, which can give you power to get control of the whole world. That's why. The whole world can come and take diksha from a uh, Shadguru Acharya, from a uh, Mahabhagavat. Actually, you can come Sarvama Sarvama Pimam Pithamim Sasishyat. He can give initiation to a uh, Goswami, a uh, Shadguru Acharya, topmost uh, can give initiation to the whole world. Still, he is not going to fall down. This is the position of Acharya. This is the excellent position of Acharya, unique position of Acharya. Try to realize this point, you know. So, until and unless there is any interrogation inside heart, Prabhupada was not at all ready to give initiation to anybody. And also, I like to prove the point I started, answer is not complete, that Haha Prabhu Svanatano Gauru Parivar. Gauru Parivar means actually. Though we know from the from the statement of Sanatan Goswami, Vidya Bachaspati Guru me this okay is the Gaur Parshad also Vidya Bachaspati. Vidya Bachaspati is the brother of Sarvam Vartajajjo, is the son of Maheshwar Visharat. Okay, I can give. But here you, the vital point is that you should very carefully watch that when. When Mahaprabhu is going to give total samanda avidya prajan gyan tata in front of Sanatana Gosai, though we know Sanatana is an eternal person, still, still Sanatana is going to put some atma jiggasa in front of Mahaprabhu. Ke ami kene mori jare ta patrai, yaha nahi jani koi sa mori ta. At the same time, Mahaprabhu is going to give samanda avidya prajan. This is called dikha. So we can also know secretly Mahaprabhu is going to initiate Sanatan through Samanda Vidya Parija. Though it is not the rule for Supreme, on the part of Supreme Lord, it is not the system. Supreme Lord can never act as Guru. Though which is the system we can say, Kishnam Bande Jagat Guru, he is teaching us, so Jagat Guru. But personally Krishna cannot initiate anybody. Mahaprabhu cannot initiate directly anybody. It is it is not the duty of Prabhu. This this perceptual channel can go start can be started through, you know, some like Krishna giving initiation to Brahma, follow. And in this material world, because he was the first, you know, in the creation, first Brahma, so Brahma could receive realization. Brahma. So somehow Brahma was raised and initiated, but in this material world we cannot find this document. There's somebody going to uh, some Krishna Bhagwan Ram or Mahaprabhu going to initiate. No, a system we can we can find uh, through Guru Parampara, uh, like one one Acharya, Madhvacharya, Ramanujacharya, Vishnu Swami, or uh, Vishnu Swami. You can find. Nimbarka Chaja or Sampradaya, one Sampradaya, to start one Sampradaya is a not, not the duty of Supreme Lord. So, Vyasadeva Goswami giving Dishka, Diksha to uh, our Madhvacharya. Madhvacharya received Diksha from there, though externally is digging, taking Diksha. Well, still, uh, we can find that actual, uh, you know, is getting from there. We have document. So Krishna is the Chaturmukh, he can sing. But actually to start one Sampradaya, it is not duty. So usually Bhagavan not going to give Diksha to anybody directly. It's not the system. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu through this you know, procedure 
of speaking through this through this procedure of speaking samanda vidya prajan gyan we can feel that sanatan goswami uh, mahaprabhu going to give diksha to sanatan goswami secret secret diksha very nice so we, that's why in the kirtan that's why in the kirtan lochandas thakur was bound to i think it is a kirtan of lochandas thakur i can check up and tomorrow i can confirm i forget i am singing this kirtan usually so uh, actually it is written at sunat uh, in the kirtan it is written haha prabhu sanatana gaura parivar so this mean sanatan is in the parivar of gauranga mahaprabhu so and who is the guru of rupa goswami pa the hmm? sanatan goswami giving initiation to rupa goswami pa. this way uh, we cannot discuss this point any more it will take long time so now we can go back to this point original point that how we can understand that bhakti mun thakur going to make going to ex, going to going to declare that bimala pasha saraswati prabhupad is jagat guru through some instructions given to him now one point i can touch today tomorrow i can discuss in detail about ekalabha ekalabha what is the defect with ekalabha eh most of us you know we want to prove that i am the disciple of sila bhakti pramodhi gosi i am the disciple of kesav gosi maharaj you can speak speak this way but the genuinity can be tested through bani seva and it is because our our rupa gosi our um, sarup gosai sarup gosai sarup gosai is our topmost boss sarup gosai is our topmost boss selected by mahaprabhu see sarup gosai sarup gosai having one stone you know in the golden myth golden smith shop they can find one special stone that is called koshti pathar what is the english name i forget uh, koshti pathar there is one special stone if you rub on a gold bar then it can speak the how much purity is there that is called so our sarup gosai having some having some special stone that is called uh, siddhant vicha stone to detect who is kapat who is genuine so sarup gosai he siddhant vicha if i am not going to get any certificate from sarup gosai if i am not going to get any certificate from gurudev guru vargan paupat then i cannot prove that i am sat i may be i am asat so sarup gosai is so our topmost boss he can test us our uh, serving mood our kapat bab or niskapat bab can be tested very easily by sarup gosai if somebody is not tested by sarup gosai by his siddhant vichar then he is not going to get any certificate of jagat guru or goswami cannot get that is the secrecy so i can speak you in details tomorrow so what is the fault with uh, maharaj ekalabha is so doing so nice bhajan and doing or sipping his gurudev dona charja getting this kind of power first point is that that why dona charja was orid then as such having any master ja jealousy no not that tomorrow about varnasam dharma vichar i can discuss this point what is the vichar of prabhupad i can speak tomorrow not today so ekalabha what is the defect of ekalabha ekalabha not directly going to gurudev to ask permission what he want to do is not going to take permission from dunacharya He is not directly initiated so i can speak in details what was the problem what is the problem with ekalabhya whereas he was the topmost you know boy you know in this you know in this you know astra astra vidya this astra vidya dhanur dhanur ban this dhanur bow and arrow this astra vidya he was the topmost at that time so what was the main defect with him i can discuss this point after so now i like to go back to the point that what kind of you know 
what kind of responsibility was given by Srila Sachidananda Bhakti Mahatma Thakur to Prabhupada. So I can start this, this chap, this point. First of all, we should remember that in the year of 19, uh, 1914, before Rasa Yatta Vinjira Day, that uh, Bhakti Mahatma Thakur leave his transcendental body, uh, Gadadha Prabhu Tirabhav, and this history of was also same. To prove this, he is also Gauru Shakti. So, one day actually, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, you know, calling Bhimala Prasad to come in front of him. Usually, usually Prabhupada is going to pay Dandavat to Bhakti Vinod Thakur. And I would like to say that sometime Sananda Sukada Kujo in Gadrum. Gadrum is actually is actually Nandogram. I already told while I was two to two years back, while I was discussing all Dhamparikama, etc. That's why that time I already discussed this point. But specially I like to speak today that Sananda Sukada Kunjo is one exclusive place where Bhaktivinu Thakur used to do bhajan uh, and Actually, Prabhupada also, Bhimala Prasad, Prabhupada also used to go there, Prabhupada also used to go there to do bhajan sometime. Uh, because he was, Prabhupada always busy with different kind of Bhaniseva here and there, but sometime Prabhupada also used to go there to stay with Bhakti Minut Thakur to get Kipa and next room, just a uh, attached room. One room is Bhakti Minut Thakur. In the Bhajan Kutir of Bhakti Minut Thakur, you can find one room for Bhakti Minut Thakur, another room from, for Bhimala Basha Saraswati, and also you can get one picture uh, in the Bhajan Rahasya. The, at present, uh, those who are going to print, I don't know. Uh, previously, at the time of my Guru Maharaj, uh, Madhav Goswami Maharaj, they print one nice picture of Sila Bhimala Basha Saraswati, and that picture was from from the Sananda Sukhada Kunja at the bank of Saraswati Nadi, Prabhupada writing the preface, while Prabhupada writing the preface note of Bhajan Rahasya under the guidance of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, then that picture is from there, was taken. So we can see this picture so nice. Bhakti Vinod Thakur writing in Sananda Sukhada Kunja in his own Bhajan Kutir, just, as, just adjacent Bhajan Kutir of Bhakti Minu Thakur. So Bhakti Minu Thakur used to do Nam Bhajan by that time. By that time, Bhakti Minu Thakur stopped preaching, enter into you know, exclusive, you know, Bhajan, whole day and night thinking about Gaur Gadhar Lila. Whole day and night, 24 hours, always thinking about, you know, Gaur Lila, Nitta Gaur Lila and Nitta Radha Gavinda Lila. That time, Nobody can call Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Nobody allowed that time. Nobody, nobody was allowed that time to disturb Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Only Krishna, Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj. That Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj is the disciple of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, who got Harinam, and in very small age, uh, like for within uh, thirty-six or like that, he lived body before. So we have also another Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj who used to do Harinam. All the time is a disciple of our Guru Bhargava, who is a disciple of Prabhupada. But, but that Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj, whose samadhi you can find in Shananda Sukhada Kunjo, is the samadhi of that Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj, who used to serve Bhakti Minu Thakur all the time, day and night. So usually Bhakti Minu Thakur closing his eyes, whole day and night, closing his eyes and doing Harinam. Always, you know, doing Seva, Nitya Gaur Seva, Nitya Radha Govindu Seva. And in front of Bhakti Minu Thakur Bhajan Asan, the Asan on which Bhakti Minu used to sit, just there is one cavity in the in the wall. Because that time world is, you know, minimum three feet. You know, bound. now we can find, you know, that wall is very thin. But that time we can find three feet minimum. Uh, three feet. So big wall. But so... So, there is one cavity, there 
Bhakti Mita Thakur installed Gaurgal or Bigra. Very nice. I have the picture. Someday I can uh, show you through internet. I can show you this picture. Gaur Gadadhar and Bhakti Mita Thakur sitting behind, be, just be, beside Gaur Gadadhar Bigra. So nice deity. As if Gauranga or Gaur Gadadhar is you know, dancing and singing. You know, that nice. And Bhakti Mita Thakur with closing eyes, doing Harinam, whole day and night, and doing eternal seva in Gaurdham and in Vrindavan Dham. One day, Bhakti Mita Thakur manifesting sick Lila, very sick Lila, very sick, like paralytic patient, very sick Lila. Then, Bhimala Pushat Saraswati Avar Prabhupada approaching Bhakti Mita Thakur, and paying prostrated dandavat unto the lotus feet of Bhakti Mita Thakur, and started crying, started crying. What speaking? Oh Thakur, oh Thakur, you will have to, will have to, you will have to stay more with me. You will have to stay more with me to give power. Thakur, you don't go back. You don't go back. Please, it is my request. Bhakti Mita Thakur, in front of Bhakti Mita Thakur, Prabhupada crying and crying and crying heavily and requesting him, please don't go away right now. You will have to help me. More so many seva there. Then, within a short period of time, Bhakti Mita Thakur again come back to his normal position, normal health. <coughs> what is the excellence you see? By the request of Bhakti, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada, Bhakti Mita Thakur again come back to normal position. Then again, someday Bhakti Mita Thakur doing bhajan and Prabhupada used to go there, do bhajan and ask some question, paying dandavat to him how to, you know, lead this whole Gauriya society, which way, this way. So, actually, one day, actually, Bhakti Mita Thakur uh, calling Bhimala Prasad, Prabhu, you come. Then after that, Bhakti Mita giving order. You see my position. My health is not good. My health is not good, very bad. So, I cannot go. But you will have to solve this problem. Which problem, Thakur? Which problem? Actually, point is that all devotees, Vaishnavas, they are coming to me to request me to go and solve this problem issue about Brahman and Vaishnav. There is a big fighting going on. Smartha Brahman and those who are Vaishnavas, there is a big fighting going on still today, secretly. <laughs> though, can, though they cannot come out successful, still fighting going on anyway. Fighting is not yet stopped. So fighting going on. So Bhakti Mita Thakur giving order to Bhimala Prasad, Prabhu, you will have to go to Baligai to attend this Dharma Shabha. You will have to establish this Dharma establish that Vaishnava is more and more than Brahman. You have to go. Please, you have to go. Bhakti Mita Thakur, in front of Bhakti Mita Thakur, Baba speaking, Baba speaking, O Thakur, if you bless me, then everything is possible for me. If you are going to bless me, then what is not possible for me? What is not possible for me if you are, if you are, if you are going to bless me? I must go. Then, by the order of Bhakti Mita Thakur, Bhimala Pashat Saraswati going there in where this Bali guy in Midnapur. There is a big, big Dharma Sabha there. Big Dharma Sabha. Big Dharma Sabha there. Thousands of people gathered there. To get the solution of this point, Vaishnav and Brahman, who is more than whom? Vaishnava is more than Brahman. So I already established this point many times, but still I can uh, discuss this point to show what is the excellent Acharya Siva Apsila Prabhupada. To prove this point, I am bound to discuss uh, in this uh, Leela of Prabhupada, through which you can discover. So actually, Bhakti Minu Thakur, by the order of Bhakti Minu Thakur, Bhimala Basha Saraswati going there, at that time, there was a mammoth gathering. There was a mammoth gathering. Huge number of people there. 
जय गुरु गुरु अंग गंधर गौर पे महानंदे चीर गौर जनाश्रय विश गुरु गुरु गौर किशोर को दास परम परमादृत भक्ति विनोद पदम प्रणमा सदा प्रभुपाद पदम प्रणमा सदा प्रभुपाद पदम प्रणमा सदा प्रभुपाद पदम शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद वॉज बाउंड टू गो टू वॉज बाउंड टू गो टू बाली घाई सम्मेलन देयर बाय द ऑर्डर ऑफ भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर सो देयर एक्चुअली देर इज अ बिग मैमद गैदरिंग एंड ऑल ब्राह्मण एंड वैष्णव दे आर फाइटिंग दे वॉन्टेड टू प्रूव that we are superior to brahman the smart the brahman they are speaking and those vaishnav they going to prove that those who are doing bhajan hari bhajan those who are vaishnav irrespective of caste and creeds and everything they are above all so actually also many time i used to speak one shloka you can remember बन्नी सूर्यो ब्राह्मणीभ्यो तेजियान वैष्णवो सदा बन्नी सूर्यो हेलो बन्नी सूर्य बन्नी सूर्यो ब्राह्मणीभ्यो तेजियान वैष्णवो सदा इन दिस श्लोक इट इज रिटिन fire is very powerful don't try to touch you can burn your head a hand banhi suryo sun god is so strong in the in the noon time in you know march april may if you go outside you can develop you know sun stroke don't go outside so banhi suryo brahmani bhyo Brahmani bhyo means of from Brahman also, Vaishnav is always powerful, more and more powerful. So this look you should remember. Banhi Suryo Brahmani bhyo Tejyan Vaishnavo Shada. Vaishnav is above all. Hmm. So this way actually, by the order of Bhakti Mino Thakur, by the order of Bhakti Mino Thakur, Bhimala Pasha Saraswati, going to Binnapur. to attend bali gai dharma sabha big sambelan there there is a bahmat gathering to find solution everybody coming all for different you know places now there was big big sadhu also big big sadhu not only sila bamala pasha saraswati but also from shyamananda parivar there are vishambarananda dev goswami is no mas bishambara nandu dev goswami big sadhu he tattvit he was also there everybody so many sadhu coming but after the sabha um, function before the sabha function they all arranged bishambara nandu goswami was a chairman some bishambara nandu goswami bishambara nandu dev goswami from samanandu parivar <coughs> making a request in front of bimala prasad saraswati he is coming as a representative of vaishnav society or as a specially as a representative of bhakti vinod thakur so requesting him you will have to solve this problem it is our request on it is our request that this issue you will have to solve this problem brahman and vaishnav you will have to discuss all in details please then by the order of you know bismaranand dev goswami bimala pasha saraswati prabhupad bhakti siddhant saraswati goswami started speaking about brahman and vaishnav and specially i can discuss this point regarding varna samadharma how what is the siddhant of prabhupad according to all authentic scripture because somebody can pass some bad remark a whimsical remark there is so many conception going on really so there is so many bad conception going on all around even people they are less interested about knowing the actual siddhanta so foolish 
still today you can go to Navadip here there. They deserve. We are in the we are we are actually in the heritage of Nitananda Prabhu. We Nitananda Bamsa. I am in the family member of the, in the in family stream of Nitananda. Somebody is speaking deserve. We are in the stream of Advaita Gosai. Family stream. What does it mean? Foolish number one. Eh? Advaita Bangshavatangsho, Nityananda Bangshavatangsho. It's not possible. Prabhupada, only Prabhupada and Bhakti Muna Thakur can speak this way. So, Prabhupada speaking, Nityananda is not material personality. So, Nityananda can uh, arrange to fall flow, the, you know, uh, Sokra Bangsha. <laughs> Nityananda is Balaram. Transcendental actually, or Prakita. Huh? From Nithananda, this kind of branching of, you know, this family, you know, a, you know, stream is not possible. So those who are speaking, they are material person. They are all material. Material people, they cannot understand Siddhanta Vichar. I already told some days, some day before, some days before, that somebody is speaking that Prabhupada is the son of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. But Bhakti Vinod Thakur never think that way. And also Bhakti Vinod Thakur never thinking that way. So foolish people can say whatever they like, but this is not Siddhanta. This is not actually Siddhanta. Follow. A Prakita Bangsa, a Prakita Bangsa you cannot find in this material world. It's not possible. So, Prabhupada Bhimalapasya Saraswati started giving an answer on the basis of all scriptural evidence. Prabhupada wanted to prove for us that actually Brahman, Vaishnava, this issue. How this fighting going on? Because everybody likes to prove that we are elevated, much elevated. But this is not the this is not a question of fighting. Practically, you should stand on a neutral platform, then you can understand that how how it is possible that a Brahman is more than more elevated than Brahman. How possible? Because actually, Brahman, what do you mean by Brahman? Anybody coming in the family of Brahman Lucky, like uh, Srivasta, Chatterjee, Banerjee, Bandhabadhyay, they are speaking this way. We are from Brahmin family. But tomorrow I can discuss that uh, Daiva Varnasam never speaking that way. Daiva Varnasam, the scientific procedure of Daiva Varnasam is not that. Bhagavan always speaking, Chatur Varnam Maya Srishtam Gunakarama Vibhagasaha Tasu kartaram upi mam vidhi akartaram abhayam. Also, I can give documents tomorrow that in Satta Yuga, that uh, different you know, document I can show you. Barnanam visheshu nasti. nasti. Eh, barnanam barnanam visheshu nasti. Because in Satta Yuga, only one Barna was there, or Brahma. So, whenever, whenever we find fighting, then we should understand this is material issue. Because in Satya Yuga, only one, one uh, first of all cre uh, no, creation, there is only one Barna, Manas, one Barna. That is called actually, actually they are Brahman and Paramahansa, everybody. So this way, after that, after Teta Juk, uh, left Teta Juk, then it was uh, started. This uh, according to karma, uh, guna karma, the division was started. Hmm. And Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking in Gita, but the Gita, Gita is eternally existent. So somebody can say, Maharaj Gita was compiled late in Kalikal end. So what? Gita was there, eternally present. So, Chatur Varnam Maya Sustam Gunakarma Vivagasaha Tasu Kartaram Upi Imam Vidhi Akartaram Abhayam. As a Brahman mean actually those who are uh, those who are you know roaming around Brahma that is called Brahman. So, Brahman, Brahman. But actually, this is not the system. What Actually, material people want to prove that we have taken birth in Brahman family, so naturally you are Brahman. But this was not the system. I can prove tomorrow. So anyway, 
Brahman and Vaishnav regarding this tattva, Prabhupada wanted to prove those who are doing Krishna bhajan, Aprakita Krishna bhajan, I mean, I mean, Turiya tattva, Vishnu tattva, they are much more elevated. They are always. How? One by one, Prabhupada wanted to give argument to them. Ado krita yuge varno nenam hangsu iti sritaha, ado at all in in Sataju, Krita Yuge, Varno, Nenam, Hangsa, Iti, Sritaha, there is one Varna, there is Hangsa. And Krita Kitvaha, Prajahai, Prajayata, Tasmat, Krita Yugam, Viduhu. Why it is called Krita Yuga? You know, the another name of Sata Yuga is Krita Yuga. Krita means Krita mean Krita Kitva, means successful. Krita, Krita Yuga means already done. So Krita Yuga means this Krita here means Successful, kita kita. So, as soon as you find this log, you can understand. Ado kita juga warno nenam hamso iti swetaha. At all in satta juga in kita juga, the other name of satta juga is kita juga because there is one burn, all hamsa. And kita kita praja yata tasmat kita juga ambiduhu. Anybody going to take birth in the anybody anybody took birth at that time he was successful all success because uh, they, because uh, their heart was very good so at all this kind of you know so ado krita yuge varno ninam hansa iti srita krita kitva prayaha yata tasmat krita yugam viduhu are uh, actually in simad bhagavatam we find विप्रो क्षत्रिय बीट शूद्रा मुख बाहु रूपादजा बैरायात पुरुषात जाता या आत्मा चार लक्षण है सो यू नो लेट तेता जुगा देन द डिविजन स्टार्टेड एक्चुअली प्रैक्टिकली सो दिस वे एक्चुअली The, to to uh, to organize the to organize the whole society in right direction, uh, it was uh, it was um, necessary to make full segregation according to Barna and Ashram. Otherwise, contamination surely coming to touch uh, the heart of everybody. So, contamination to avoid contamination, according to Barna and Ashram, it was said, but. Prabhupada wanted to give argument that actually Brahman, Vaishya, Shudra, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, those who are under Varnasram, Varna, Bhangasram, Chatur Varna Maha system, na? Chatur Varna Maha system, Guna Karma Vibhagasa, Varna Asram. And actually it's Sanyas, Sanyas, Bhanapastha, Brahmacharya, Grahastha, it's four Asram, four Varna, एवं आश्रम वर्ण एवं आश्रम आश्रम मीन दिज ए नो गृहस्थ मानप्रस्थ सन्यास दिस ऑल आश्रम सो एक्चुअली एट ऑल वैष्णव आज यू कैन नॉट कन्फाइन गुरु वैष्णव अंडर एनी कैटेगरी यू हैव नो राइट टू मेक एनी सेग्रीगेशन अबाउट वैष्णव बिकॉज वैष्णव इज अब ऑल वैष्णव इज ऑलवेज अब ऑल सो यू हैव नो राइट टू डू So those who are sahajya, they are staying in Navadip at Kulia, and those who are staying in Radha Kund sahajya, they are fighting with each other. That Vaishnavas, what, why they are, you know, wearing uh, red clothes, sannyas, no wearing it. Who told you? They are going to give this kind of argument. They are fighting with Gauri Mar. There is a Mahaprabhu or. You know, Rup Sanatan. They never put red cloth. Also, it is written in Chaitanya Charitamrita. I already discussed one year before. I think you can go through Azari Gatha. There it is. I already give so many arguments. Actually, it is written Vaishnavir Rakta Vasto Paritena Juai. It is Chaitanya Charitamrita. It is written Vaishnavir Rakta Vasto Paritena Juai. Red cloth. I mean, saffron cloth. Vaishnav should not. Vaishnav should not put on. That doesn't mean there is one restriction. They cannot. Not that. It is written Siddhanta Vaishnavas. Those who are those who are Paramahansa Vaishnavas, they are not bound to wear red cloth. They can or cannot. 
those who are pure vaishna they are not bound to they are not bound to wear red box now poritena juai that doesn't mean it is strictly prohibited not that if it is at all strictly prohibited then why in bhagavatam itself we find je je tirandi sanyas bhikshu in bhagavatam we speak uh, you know we can find the yeah, bhagwan sri krishna is speaking into udhav that you see this so excellent this this you uh, know tirandi uh, bhikshu this uh, topics there you can find in bhagavatam it is totally approved that tirandi sanyas can be there tirandi sanyas can be there it is approved red cloth tirandi sanyas it's there tirandi sanyas so it is not prohibited who told you but actually prabodhananda saraswati path actually and so many devotees there and all parshat uh, brahmananda bharati ishwar puri path madhavanda puri path they all you know are uh, in you know, sanyas they all sanyas so sometime you can you can fight with me that maharaj they are sanyas but they are not all of them not tirandi sanyas some of them ekanami sanyas a uh, many time i give answer that time dasanami santa dasanami sanyas was so you know powerful that time so it was the usual system that time if anybody want to take sanyas they he must take sanyas from this sampradaya it's nothing else but gauri siddhant is there if anybody going to take sanyas actually madhavendra puri path is you should remember that they, you can see ek danda sanyas one danda sanyas that is not three danda still Prabhupada Bhakti Mundra was speaking, within this Ek Danda, Ek Danda, Ek Oddai Gyan Tattva, Ek Danda, there is actually three Danda, Danda means punishment. Now, who is going to take sannyas, he is going to give punishment to be speech, body and mind. Restrict, going to restrict, restriction should be there. It is one kind of bow, it is one kind of bow. So, it is sure. that those who are going to take sanyas in gauriya society especially in gauriya mission gauriya mart uh, so actually they are taking sanyas but they actually paramangsa not all those who are purposely taking sanyas to take some glamour position i am not speaking i am always speaking standard thing so actual sanyas mean in gauriya mart mission uh, it is actually mean that they must take bow to give punishment to speech body and mind but how it is possible if you can engage your heart if you can engage your body and mind all in seva then it is an automatic factor it's an automatic factor you need not fight with this issue if you are engagement if you can find full engagement in krishna seva full engagement in krishna seva then automatically it is the power of krishna to catch your body speech and mind so automatically you cannot get in is a scope to do all rubbish follow what is mean to say this is this is called actually tridandi uh, sanyas also after division of gauriya mart popa after popa gone the one is gauriya mission there but what way but when i am speaking gauriya mission gauriya mission gauriya mission that doesn't mean i am speaking about that gauriya mission that part of gauri gauriya mart no i am speaking about the mission of Goranga Mahaprabhu started by Prabhupada. That I mean. Don't try to confuse. Ah, so mission there, their name of the mission, Gauri mission. There, it is Gauri one actually. Mission mean actually started by Prabhupada and uh, by the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In mission, Gauri mission after division, they didn't allow sannyas base. After that case was there. Ah, uh, in this case, they were bound to accept the sannyas. then they they give 20 sanyas act in a day in one day previously they wanted to avoid so this way this is not the issue our issue we should not discuss this point here right now no point so varna and ashram you should understand properly according to guna karma according so so according to second to gun and karma 
according to quality and you know karma so this division started so what prabhupad wanted to prove that you see prabhupad wanted to prove that prabhupad wanted to prove that that uh, brahman and khatriya vaishya shudra they are within this within this varnashram born within this varna category brahman but vaishnav is always beyond any beyond any category so many time is i told and shloka by krishna bhagwan speaking to uddhav you see many time i told before that vaishnavas are above all vaishnavas they are above all vaishnavas are not in the category of varna and ashram ज्ञाननिष्ठो विरक्तो वा मधभक्तो वा अनुपेक्षक ज्ञाननिष्ठो विरक्तो वा मधभक्तो वा अनुपेक्षक स लिंगानम आश्रम स्तक्ता चरित अविधि गोचर दिस श्लोक भगवान श्री कृष्ण स्पीकिंग टू उद्धव सो अल्टिमेटली व्हाट हैपन यू सी वर्ण एवं आश्रम दिस सिस्टम प्रोबाद वॉन्टेड टू प्रूव इन फ्रंट ऑफ देन द एनी वे वैष्णवाज दे आर नॉट इन द in the category of varna and ashram they are above all they are paramans so vaishnav is above all vaishnav is above all so after that uh, for three four days maybe this discussion took place so after final conclusion thousands of people started running toward prabhupad to take the dust particle from the lotus feet of prabhupad and bishwamarananda uh, goswami and all you know management you know committee they watching it is like just like wave wave of man thousands of people coming to catch prabhupad to take uh, dust particle from the lotus feet of prabhupad then they they, they stop people to come and touch prabhupad immediately bishwamarananda goswami arrange one big top at the time of bandara we put dal sabji big pot that pot was kept in front of prabhupad and forcefully uh, the lotus feet of prabhupad was kept inside that pot and then uh, bishwamarananda goswami is speaking uh, that that uh, you all can take water from this pot you cannot touch prabhupad so water was poured everybody started putting water there to wash the lotus feet of prabhupad and finally within a very short period of time all water vanish everybody taking one drop of water so how many people came there to attend that you know dharma sabha you cannot imagine even so they are very satisfied with the decision siddhanta vichar of prabhupad not only that but also after that function that dharma sabha was over after that dharma sabha was over actually there are committee members they are requesting prabhupad that thousands of people they want to take diksha from you thousands of people they want to take diksha from you you please you know if you approve uh, some some uh, they have some weak points some of them going to take some uh, tea somebody going to take some bitter leaf pan this much they are doing if you approve they are all ready to take diksha from you thousands of people pova speaking i am less interested to take take a uh, i am less interested to give diksha to them i am not going to give diksha to them i cannot give so you see the mood of prabhupad exclusive acharya sip of sila prabhupad prabhupad is less interested to accept thousands of people like sahajya if there is any sahajya they are ready to accept okay i am getting thousands of disciple i have i am jagat guru this that but popad never expects this kind of mood popad never popad never in his life expressed to this kind of mood so uh, so so he is jagat guru jagat guru never think it is the speciality of jagat guru it is the speciality of unique acharya sib of sila popat he never he never he never think that they are my disciple they are my 
guru they are all my shiksha guru they are going to control me they are all my bipadu dharan bandhu i can give so many example one by one so that you can understand popad wanted to speak that way popad wanted to always wanted to speak that way that you all are my bipad udharan bandhu never popad wanted to speak that you are my shishya so never so this way we can get big information about the unique acharyas of sila popad and today due to this disturbance in midway harikatha break so i expect to day after tomorrow i can discuss all in details about uh, about this topics uh, what all were the order given by popad was given some special order by bhakti vinod thakur i can discuss all these points so today i like to stop due to disturbance we are going to uh, <laughs> you know feel disturbance actually hari katha so actually चीर गौरजनाश्रय विश्वगुरु गुरु गौर किशोर को दाशु परम परमादृत भक्ति विनोद पदम पनुमा सदाप भूपाद पदम पनुमा सदाप भूपाद पदम पनुमा सदाप भूपाद पदम बांछा कल्प दुष्य के पास इंदु भविष्यपति दान पावन भविष्य भ्यो नमो due to disturbance i was also feeling because harikatha non stop i am habituated to speak harikatha non stop if there is breakage i feel problem it is not actually lecture it is harikatha so please excuse me so vancha kalpa turvasya ke pasindu bhavaspati tanam pavana bhavishna bhyo namo namo